couple of my viewers, uh, one of you out there asked me, I think it was yesterday or today, if I was going to ever do a video on the S-Man 3. And I said yes, so I'm sorry I lied. Because I'm going to do a video on the S-Man 4. That's right, the S-Man 4. Now, I know you may be wondering, well, what's the difference? I mean, I have an S-Man 2, I got an S-Man 3, and now they're coming out with an S-Man 4. Here it is, okay? And it comes in a really nice case. To say that it really needs a case because it, it is an extremely durable manifold as was shown in a video at Field Peace Products here on YouTube. Let me show you some of the differences though between say the S-Man 3 and the S-Man 4. Well obviously the S-Man 4 is a four port manifold and if you're going to be a professional in the HVAC industry, a four port manifold is the only way to go because that means that you can connect your vacuum pump to it and vacuum any non condensables throughout the system and without even ever disconnecting and flipping hoses around to add the refrigerant, uh, you know, then you're all set. And take a look at the port here on the vacuum side. That is a 3 8 inch port. Beautiful idea. I am very pleased that they thought about this. Having a 3 8 inch vacuum port means that you'll be able to bring the system down into a tight vacuum easier and faster. Okay, another fine feature of the S-Man 4 is, look at what that says. It says wireless. Some of you may be wondering, so what's with a, a wireless manifold? Uh, because, well, let's say, like if you're sitting in your easy chair or like if you are up in the attic working on duct or something and you want to monitor the pressures and temperatures at your gauges, you can still check on the pressures and temperatures of the system and of course with the help of the little wireless transmitters which transmit all the different temperatures and things that I needed to uh, input I'm able to get all this information in one single device with the Fieldpiece HG3 and that is the wireless HVAC guide I have a return dry bulb temperature of 57.9, a return wet bulb temperature of 40.2, a supply dry bulb temperature of 68.9, a suction line pressure of 96.8. The system is currently not running, that's why I have that pressure. A suction line temperature of 53 degrees, a liquid line pressure of 96.7, you see it's pretty much equal to the suction line, and a liquid line temperature of 57 degrees. So I have an outdoor dry bulb temperature of 52.8. Uh, this index psychrometer is measuring the dry bulb temperature in my supply line and the dual temperature head is monitoring the dry bulb temperature of my return side and this induct psychrometer head is monitoring the wet bulb temperature in the return side. One really cool thing about the ET2W the wireless transmitters is that they have a magnet on the back to allow it to stick to a metal object like for example my air handling cabinet. Now out at my condensing unit I have wireless four port manifold and a dual temperature head with a wireless transmitter 
that is monitoring the outdoor dry bulb temperature. Some of you out there are already familiar with the many heads that Field Peace does make for the meters and of course that can be used on the wireless transmitter. Uh, just as a little tip to those of you that don't know this, it comes shipped with the uh, this switch toggled over to the right and to avoid this device from shutting off on you in the middle of uh, doing a job you're better off to toggle it over to the left it's this is a device that I guess is uh, to uh, keep the battery from running down on you if you accidentally leave it on but I'm gonna leave mine over to the left 